Hi friends, this video is from interview.com. Welcome to Spring MVC tutorial. In the previous video we saw about request mapping. In this video I will talk about model attribute annotation in Spring MVC. What is model attribute in Spring MVC? I will show you in the code. In the controller we will be having model attribute. This is the annotation I am going to talk about. So this annotation is coming from the Spring Framework model attribute. So let's see what is model attribute in brief model attribute is a spring mvc specific annotation used for pre preparing the model data whenever an http request comes to the hit the controller the spring has to prepare the model data model attribute annotation Okay, hotel. So from the form, the user might fill some of the details, say hotel name, hotel ID. So these are the details the user might be filling it. So from the form, it is coming to the uh, controller. Someone has to copy the HTTP request details into this model object. Okay so that is done by the spring framework so from the form someone has to copy all the say name address or id all these details it is there in the form and when i hit submit button it is going to create an http request from the http request someone has to create get all the details and populate as a model data so spring will do that model attribute methods are invoked before the control methods with request mapping are invoked so even before this method is in invoked model attribute has to be prepared so behind the scene spring is doing that the logic behind the sequence is that the model object has to be created before in any processing starts inside the controller methods yes it accepts an uh, optional value so you can have a open bracket close bracket you can have a value here if not it will take the default name session you put a corresponding attribute into model session attribute is updated by the data from HTTP parameters when controller method with the corresponding model attribute in its signature is invoked so session attributes plays an important role so here we have session attribute so whenever model is populated it will be captured so next time if the model is not available it will look into the session attribute and it will populate okay uh, i just want to show you the steps find the appropriate request mapping method in the controller so this is my request mapping method then examine each of the method parameters so if the required data is exist if the model attribute parameter is found so model attribute is there and that attribute does not already exist in the model data then find the method the controller that populates a model attribute so you can also have one more method here another method which will populate the model attribute if you don't have populated from this HTTP servlet request or populate from the session attribute so these are the spring does so third step is done by the spring framework and finally execute the request mapping method I just want to show you one picture so you can have a small method which is go which which has model attribute annotated and you can prepare the model object if you don't have this method it will be read from the http servlet request or it will be read from the session attributes and even before my request mapping method is called my model attribute my model object is ready my hotel model object is prepared by the spring framework earlier we have we will be facing from the hotel request uh, HTTP sorry HTTP re servlet request you will say get param get param so we used to do that manually but now it is done by the spring framework so the moment the control method is hit your model object is ready prepared by the spring framework okay so behind the scene spring is doing something for us it is helping us otherwise we have to intervene and get and we have to read from the HTTP servlet request hope this video is useful and informative thank you and
All the best.